Hi guys, this video is going to be a review of my Chanel 19 handbag. I've had it for almost a year now, so I thought I would give you my thoughts about it. So let's talk about the handbag first. So this is um, a special handbag because it was the very last major bag that was designed by the late Karl Lagerfeld before he passed and you know it has a lot of like mixed reviews it like all Chanel bags you either hate it or you love it so I actually didn't quite like the look of this bag when it first came out and then eventually I just fell in love with it uh, so the one that I have I think it is the medium size with the length is a about 11 and a half inches uh, this is seven inches and then the width is three inches here so it's a very nice medium sized bag it does come in the larger size as well uh, I don't think it has a mini size and the one that I have is the one in the gorgeous red burgundy and I don't know what this leather is called. It's patent leather, but it's a soft patent leather. Uh, the handles are gold, and then here is like a mixed uh, metal situation. So I got this because I wanted a nice bag to go out for like lunches or date nights or quick meetings. And then uh, I also loved the look of it because it's very rock and roll, I feel, and it suits my vibe. Okay, so let's get on to the review view of the bag itself okay so let's talk about the pros now one big pro is ta -da, the back of this bag so it has like a very very spacious uh, area for you to put your phone in now a lot of the classic actually all the classic uh, Chanel bags they do have a pocket at the back and I think it's called the Mona Lisa smile but I've never been able to really use that to put my phone because it's very very tight and I don't think it was created for phones to begin with because it was created so long ago before phones were even invent like handphones were even invented so um, it's always been very tight it looks like it's supposed to be more of like a letter a place to put like cards and receipts and stuff but this particular one that's made in the 21st century is definitely huge uh, and it, I think it's definitely designed with the phone in mind so I have a Google 7 Pixel Pro and it fits very nicely and it's not like a forced fit uh, like when I had my classic Chanel it's more of it is made for the phone because when I put it in my classic Chanel uh, Mona Lisa I always feel like the leather is being stretched but here it's a very nice opening for it and it even has like a little metal magnet here in case you're worried uh, about your phone so that was one very, very big pro that pretty much decided the bag for me. I absolutely love it. I think there was a YouTuber that said that any bags that doesn't have a slot for the handphone should be illegal. And you know, we are all connected to our phones these days and I usually look for bags that have quick access for me to get to my phones. Okay, so let's talk about the next pro. I guess the next pro is really just the look of it. Uh, really, it really goes with any outfit that I might have. Uh, and I can actually wear it uh, several styles. So it has this little uh, chain here uh, whereby I can wear it on the crook of my arm like this. And it's very comfortable. It's not like uh, super small or I can actually just wear it uh, like, you know, top handle like that. And then it has this little, um, not little, but it has this long uh, shoulder strap which I can wear it uh, by the side of it and I can cross body it as well uh, if I wanted to but I very rarely carry it like this. I mostly carry it just on the crook of my arm or top handle like that but I like the versatility if I'm tired of carrying it like this I can always just put it on my shoulder and the strap actually does have this leather piece on here so it doesn't dig into your skin and it you know kind of sticks to your skin it doesn't fall off so that's one big pro of it I just like 
the versatility of the look of the bag. Okay, the third pro is the size. Uh, it is a very nice, spacious bag. I do have a bag organizer here inside and I actually also have a bag shaper. I didn't even know that these were a thing, okay? And I do have a few more bags that I need to get bag shapers for. Basically, when I researched on this bag, uh, I found that a lot of people say that it's, you know, because the leather is very soft, you can see that I can almost like crinkle it. So if you don't have a bag shaper, uh, over time it might uh, kind of flatten out like this. Um, so I decided to invest in one. It wasn't that super expensive or anything, but it has definitely helped keep the shape of it. So you see how floppy it is here, but if I were to put the shaper inside, I think this was from like an Etsy store in Australia, I believe. And then, uh, you know, see the big difference that it makes to the bag. It's just literally a cardboard piece, you know, <laughs> but it's like made and measured just for this particular bag. So yeah, it definitely holds its shape a lot better. And then on top of that, I have a bag organizer to further hold its shape when I'm storing it, especially. Okay, so the inside is just a very fuss-free bag. It does have a little zipper right here. Um, inside and then other than that, it's just an open thingy. You don't really need a bag organizer because it's not that big But I just prefer to keep its shape. This organizer is actually not made for this bag. I'm just like reusing it. That's how it looks with the bag shaper and the organizer inside. It definitely holds um, the structure a lot better. Uh, okay, so let's get on to the cons of this bag. Okay, the first big con is the straps. Okay, I know that I said that I love the versatility of it, but I just wish that the straps are detachable. But Chanel is quite you know, notorious for creating bags without adjustable or detachable straps. I don't know, I think they don't want to like ruin the whole aesthetics of the bag. But you know, most bag companies are doing it now. You know, even Hermes bags uh, straps are, you know, adjustable and removable. So I'm talking about this long strap. Um, it's really nice, but when I'm carrying it like this, which I do most of the time, this strap just, you know, it just kind of goes all over the place. It just looks messy and, you know, it's not like, I can probably tuck it into the bag, but it's quite bulky uh, and I would just lose real estate in the bag. So I just wish that it was detachable. I could just, you know, and I wish that it was, um, you know, adjustable because I kind of like the idea of being able to carry this like as a short handbag, but I can't because of this long strap. So that's con number one. Number two, and really the last con I have is really the leather. And this is because of the leather that I chose. I chose this like, I don't know, is it called wrinkled? Um, it's sort of like a crinkled patent leather because I thought that it would be a little bit more hardy so if I even if I you know I'm not so like precious about it the scratches won't show I don't have any scratches on the back but uh, the leather on the side not on this one but on here you can see that the leather is starting to crack um, and I have read that with the newer Chanel bags, especially the ones with the drawstrings, the ones that you could use it as a handbag and a backpack, uh, I've read that the leather does crinkle, especially in the areas where you fold it, uh, which is, you know, understandable. That's you know, kind of natural to happen, natural for it to happen, but it, it does still suck to, to see this, uh, especially since I've only had it for a year. So that's the only place. I think there's some like by this side that's also crinkled, but overall the bag still looks okay. It's just pains my heart when I see it. And it's only where there's like folds and, you know, um, here when I'm like opening and closing the bag. So that's a pretty big con, I think, to some people, especially those who want their bags to be very perfect. So you might wanna um, maybe consider just the normal leather and not the patent leather that's shiny. Um, I don't think it would happen with the normal leather, but I might be wrong. Okay, so those are my thoughts about the Chanel 19 bag. If you are thinking of getting it, I hope this video has helped you a little bit. If you do have this bag, let me know if you agree or disagree with any of my thoughts. Um, 
thank you for watching if you're still watching please click on the thumbs up sign and subscribe to my channel for more till i see you by till i see you <laughs> till i see you again next time bye bye